Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. I am Matsina reading you the news. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar asserted that there is greater appetite in the world for investing in India. Addressing a business community event at Limassol in Cyprus yesterday, he said trade policies and reforms taken by the Narendra Modi government has contributed to India becoming a strong destination for foreign direct investment. The minister also spoke about expanding the India-Cyprus bilateral economic relationship. He highlighted seven areas which Cyprus and India should work forward in. These areas include finance, shipping, tourism and knowledge economy. The minister added that this region will see more of India in the future. The Unique Identification Authority of India, UIDAI, has advised residents not to share their Aadhaar openly in the public domain, particularly on social media and other public platforms. Electronics and IT Ministry said Aadhaar card holders should not disclose their Aadhaar OTP to any un- unauthorized entity and refrain from sharing M Aadhaar PIN with anyone. It has asked the card holders to use Aadhaar confidently to avail benefits and services, but observe the same level of caution as they do in the case of any other identity document. The ministry said UIDAI also provides the facility of Aadhaar locking as well as biometric locking. If a resident resident is not likely to use Aadhaar for a period of time, he or she may lock Aadhaar or biometrics for such a time period. The same can be unlocked conveniently and instantly as and when required. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipu Rio yesterday inaugurated several projects undertaken by Tsutonomiya Kel Council of Kohima Village at Kohima. The projects included inauguration of water pump house, Sokreze Market, Tsutyo Irrigation Channel and laying of foundation stone of Tsutyo Stadium. Rio also inaugurated futsal ground, swimming pool, basketball court, children's park, Ketsokra Bridge and Food Court at Riepinye Badze. Chief Minister Rio, while congratulating the Tsutonomie for coming out with such resources, expressed hope that it would be utilized well for the benefit of all. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipu Rio, Deputy Chief Minister Wai Paton and several leaders from the state have condoled the demise of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's mother, Hiraben Modi. Chief Minister Nipu Rio conveyed his heartfelt condolences to PM Modi on the loss of his beloved mother. Rio said his thoughts and prayers are with the bereaved family in this hour of grief and prayed that the departed soul rest in eternal peace. Deputy Chief Minister Wai Paton, offering his condolence, said that the bond between a mother and child is a special one, one that shapes and guides us throughout our lives. Paton said in this hour of grief his thoughts and prayers are with the entire family. MP Rajya Sabha S. Pangnon Konyak, leader of NPF legislature Kujoluzo Azo Nyenu, BJP state president Temjan Imna Along, and several leaders of the state offered condolences to PM Modi. Government has launched Pajwala Challenge, inviting ideas, solutions and actions to transform rural economy. According to Rural Development Ministry, it is one of the platforms where ideas are invited from individuals, social enterprises, startup, private sector, community-based organization, incubation centers and investors having potential to transform the rural economy. The ministry said the applicants can visit the website www.prajwalachallenge.com and apply till 31st of January. Din Dayal Antyodaya Yojana, National Rural Livelihoods Mission, has launched the Prajwala Challenge to transform the rural economy. The top five ideas will be rewarded with two lakh rupees each. And in Santosh Trophy, Hailo Ibe Irangau's only goal in the fifth minute helped Naglin beat Tamil Nadu and registered second win of the 76th National Football Championship for Hero Santosh Trophy 2022-2023. Yesterday, a second win and six points in Group 3 for the team after defeating Uttar Pradesh in the first match. Clubbed in the Group 3 with Goa, Assam, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. Naglin will still have three matches to play against Assam, Goa and Arunachal Pradesh to progress into the next round. That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a good day.